Hey everyone, welcome back to a video and I thought let's return to good old industrial designery stuff but something sexy, something really, really the lines that industrial designers love to draw. Namely, let's draw a vacuum cleaner. How about this? But not a sexy one like this, no, no, no. Back in the good old Soviet days, I had my own vacuum cleaner. Something like this. I didn't find the exact one, but it looked something like one of these. So let's try and draw that one. We will start with the main body of our vacuum cleaner, which is a cylinder. And as per usual, we start with the axis of the cylinder itself. I do say as per usual, but you can construct your ellipses and cylinders with boxes as well. But I tend to do that when uh, my cylinders are either part of a bigger construction or they are intersecting with other parts of my visual. So in this case, I find it easier and faster just to start with the axes of the cylinder and then create the short and long axes of the ellipses themselves. Due to perspective, the ellipses closer to the camera will be a bit more squished than the ones further away. I also create the smaller ellipse that will be the intake hole where the hose thing will connect to the vacuum cleaner, but I did mess up how squeezed this should have been due to it uh, changing in size. This this mistake can happen quite easily so watch out for it. A fast method for me to check this would have been to copy the big ellipse from the side of the cylinder and just shrink it down to the size I needed and I would have easily drawn over it. I will fix this later on though so no problem. The next part that will be added to our main body are the lock-on mechanism that tightens well, what I call the head of the body and the handle which helps carrying this quite heavy little thing around. So as I mentioned in the intro we had one of these things when I was growing up but I didn't find the exact model so I'm using the examples shown in the beginning and my memories to build something that I think resembles what I had seen as a kid. Now the rest of the drawing section here will be mostly cylinders due to all the components that need to fit into each other plus also the hose that does all the, the bending. Um, but and, and it's actually of course, but technically the hose is also like a cylinder. It's only a, a, a flexible cylinder. <laughs> so yeah, uh, instead of uh, talking about cylinders, let me tell you a quick story about our old Soviet type vacuum cleaner. But before I do that, let me ask you, hey, do you enjoy this content? If yes, hit that like button and leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. And if you really like my silly intros and drawing videos and want to support me more, why don't you check out my Gumroad page, link in the description down below and see if maybe you find a video that is interesting to you. Okay, back to the story. So I was a child of the Soviet era and we did have this glorious suctioning apparatus, but I sort of almost never saw it in use. Back in those days, the common people didn't really have enough of anything and we had to be frugal with most everything in our lives. And electricity was one of those things. So while yes, we did have a vacuum cleaner instead of using it, it was stashed away behind a big cabinet and we were beating our carpets. Yes, that is correct. You heard it correctly. I said beating with a stick. Uh, imagine a big fly squatter. Most Eastern Europeans amongst my followers will know we love carpets. Eastern Europeans have carpets everywhere, even on the walls. <laughs> and beating the carpets became my responsibility as soon as I was big enough to hang them on the beating pole thing. Uh, before that, my responsibility ended at carrying the carpets for my dad. So every weekend, let me repeat, every weekend I had to roll up several dozens of carpets, take them out and beat them. And no, the vacuum cleaner was not forgotten because most of the time I also had to do the mopping of the parquet flooring and then I had to move the heavy ass vacuum cleaner so I could reach all the places. And like that, every time I was cleaning and beating carpets, I was also reminded that we had a super old heavy ass cleaner that technically I could use, but I wasn't using it. 
Oh, and because Soviet era people are not good at letting go of their habits, even after communism was over, uh, late in the, not late, I would say somewhere in the 2000s, maybe so let's put it in the mid 2000s, we still had that super old vacuum cleaner that was an embarrassment at that time. And it was only catching dust in a corner being moved around by me after I had beaten all the carpets. After all, electricity was still expensive and why would you use a vacuum cleaner when we had a perfectly healthy teenager doing the work, right? Uh, but yeah, after my mom's passing in 2013, I made sure that I got my dad a brand new vacuum cleaner that he uh, uses to this day, so I did change his mind at least. But I couldn't change his habit of not being able to, to throw things away, so he kept that super old heavy vacuum cleaner in the garage for a couple of years until I really forced him to, to get rid of it. So yeah, that is my uh, Soviet era vacuum cleaner story. Back to our drawing, the coloring process is relatively the same as always. In honor of my Soviet era story, I wanted to keep it cheap and fast and hence I stayed with sketchbook. Um, Click the little pop-up in the right corner to see how I color in Sketchbook if you want a slower, more in-depth look at it. Important things that I want to mention here are that I switched the background to a darker beige ground looking color. This was mostly because on the main body I wanted to have some reflections on the ground. Well, not, not necessarily reflections, but uh, some uh, light bouncing. Also, it can be quite harsh to have a pure white background. So in general, I do recommend to switch away from, from a white background. Uh, the highlights I kept muted, other than the one chromey part later on, you will see. Uh, mostly because the paint we had on our vacuum was quite like old and matte as well. And if you start putting uh, splotches of highlight, it will become very fast glossy and, and you do not want that. You will see on the chromey parts, uh, to give this glossiness, I not just bring in the highlights, but I pair them with darker colors to create this contrast. And that's also what helps you create this really nice glossy uh, look of things. For the shadow, I just duplicated the base color, uh, painted it black, put it above, uh, above, sorry. I pushed it below all the other layers and I uh, turned down the opacity and erased and added areas just to make sure that it fits within the perspective. And yeah, that is pretty much how I remember our old vacuum cleaner. Uh, I'm quite curious what you guys think of this video. Less story, more uh, explaining, or maybe more story and less explaining. What do you like? Leave a comment with your opinion and maybe draw your own vacuum cleaners. You can always tag me on Instagram. It would be fun to see what your vacuum cleaners look like or looked like back in the days. But yeah, as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.